Hey there! I'm excited to paint some butterflies with you all today. Um, I think you can, well you can do whatever color you want, but if you have your books, you can get some ideas from your books. Like this is a monarch butterfly. So what color is that? Yep, there's orange and black. There might be a little yellow, some white. Okay. So you can get some ideas from there. If you have orange paint, you can use that. Here's Elsie. <laughs> Elsie. Um, you can get some other ideas. Looks like there's some monarch butterflies in this book. There's a yellow. Um, let's see here. This is also a monarch butterfly. We have a lot of this. And then in this nature book, there's different kinds here. I saved my page with a sticky note. See the different colors there? So we've got, that's called a buckeye butterfly, wood nymph, swallowtail. This is the monarch, painted lady, cabbage white. Oh, this is cool. Red spotted purple. It's called a red spotted purple butterfly. It looks like there's some blue there. This is a um, fritillary. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay. So there's some different colors. They have bright patterned wings. Pattern means it's kind of repeating and it looks the same on both sides, doesn't it? So it's pretty cool how we're going to do our um, our paintings to make them look the same on both sides. So you'll need a piece of paper, any color you want. I'm using my pan again to make sure I don't make a mess. I'm just going to do green. That's just what I have. Um, you'll need your paintbrush. And you might want some markers, too, for when it dries and you want to outline your butterfly. So what you'll need to do, and you might need um, help with this, is fold your paper in half. So fold it in half so it kind of looks like a book. Fold it in half this way. You could do it this way too, but then it would be kind of a long butterfly. But this one, your wings will be a lot bigger. So this is kind of like what the butterfly is going to be, like the two sides of it, one wing, two wing. Okay, so then when you put your paper down, there's a line in the middle. And what I want you to try to do is just paint, paint on one side. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. It's a little dry there at the top. Take my paintbrush, dip it in, dip it in. And what I'm going to do is carefully, slowly and carefully, I'm just going to make some dots on my paper. So I'm not going to just scribble, 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 paint like, like that. You know, sometimes we do that just to paint for fun all over the place. But I want to be very careful to do some spots on my paper. You can press, press. And try not to do it too much near the edges, but more kind of near the middle here. Press, press, kind of press some dots, because then our butterflies might look really neat. Okay, so I did, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then you're going to take your other side of your paper that you did not paint on. You see the line here, and then you didn't paint. If you painted a little bit on this side, that's okay but you're just going to try your best to stay on one side because then you're going to fold this over and you could always try again if you make a, too much of a mistake and you want to try it again and you just kind of press it, press it, rub it, rub it and then it should look the same on both sides if you slowly take it apart whoa, does that kind of look like a butterfly? and I used kind of a lot of paint there and you could use different colors. I just used green just because I had it. But if you use different colors, it might look neat if you have different spots of colors on your butterfly. So I might take um, 
Let's see here. Purple and blue marker. You don't have to do this, but maybe wait till it dries. Like you go hang it up. You could just leave it painted like that. But you can let it dry, hang it up, pause your video for some time. And then if you want to come back when it's dry, you can. I like to kind of outline my butterfly, but you don't have to. Kind of fun to outline it like that. You could add your little antennas, like one, two, and then you put circles at the top. Um, and you can get some ideas from your books. Again, let's see if I could find that page again because I kind of lost it. Let's see here. I should have put my sticky, sticky note back in here, right? But you can go back and get some ideas from your book. So it looks like some of the butterflies, um, you can add like their little head at the top too. So I just put the antennas, but just put like a little circle for the head. Um, so different things like that. And when it's dry, you could add even more color if you want to, like circles, 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 circles different things like that. Okay, so that's how my butterfly turned out and I, I'm so excited to see how yours turn out. You could also carefully cut around the edges. Maybe I'll show you after mine dries and, cut, and I cut it um, when we have our meeting. It looks like I got paint on my hand so you might get paint on yourself too, but just make sure to be careful and then wash your hands. Okay, so have fun painting your butterflies.